hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are starting off this video shopping because as you might be able to tell by the title of my video, we are doing DIY Korean barbecue and we're gonna get a bunch of meats, a bunch of different ingredients so we can take it home and start uh, DIYing. All right, we are at Lemon Grove here in Chatswood and everything that we need for today can be found here. So we're gonna be getting some meats, we're gonna be getting some banchan, which is like side dishes, and we're also gonna be getting some like lettuce, all the vegetables that we need for Korean barbecue. First up, we're heading to a Korean mart and we're getting like all the sauces, etc., etc. I'm just following my friend because she knows what she's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What do we need? So we need some mushrooms. This is for the pot belly. We oh. also got some perilla leaves. So um, this should be enough for we're having yeah. five people over today. Yeah. And then um, we need some um, green chilies as well. This okay. is probably for the soup as well. And then we need some salad. We need a little salad. Oh, like for the lettuce wraps, right? Yeah. Well, these are also lettuce wraps as well. This is another type of lettuce. Like perilla leaves is also they use for uh, wrapping the meat around it. Yeah. Has a very like peppery taste. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then we're gonna buy some these lettuces. My enoki mushroom for the soup. Yeah. Maybe this one. So here, there's like so many different types of sauces. Do we need kimchi? Uh, we're gonna buy some. Oh, okay. We're gonna get kimchi from another store. Yeah. But we're getting tofu now. This is for the soups, yeah, right? I don't really need a lot. Uh, just one, probably enough. Yeah. This is for the soup as well. Yeah, right? it's for the soup. Okay. Let's have a small one. Okay. And then um, let's add this one? Yeah. Okay, and in terms of meats today, we are still getting our meats here in Lemon Grove at a place called Samsung Butchery. This is where my friend always go for meats, for Korean barbecue. And as we were sort of deciding what to order, we bumped into our other friend's parents and they helped us order everything, which we appreciate a lot. Okay, we are also making a spontaneous pit stop to a place called Savoy um, because we're gonna get cake and this is my friend's favorite place to get cake. So here we are. Okay, the pit stop is now completed. We have got, gotten our cake. We now need to head back down to Lemon Grove where we'll be getting kimchi, right? Okay, kimchi and also side dishes. Do we need to get any beers or is our soju enough? Soju is enough, right? Let's just get the banchans and then we'll go home and prepare. Okay, we are fully done with our shopping. Now we just gotta get back and start prepping everything. Okay, so we're back at the house now. My friend is prepping all the food. We've got lettuce, we've got chopped garlic. Well, we didn't chop them because we were lazy. We just bought it off like as an entire packet of garlic. And um, I think the meats are pretty much, we don't have to do anything. We just need to put it on a plate. I'm excited to show you what everything is gonna look like once it's all prepped. So in addition to all the meats that's out there, we are also, well not we, my friend, is also making a soup. All I'm doing is just filming her make it. So she's cut up a bunch of vegetables and then she's gonna, I think, throw it all in. Okay, so in terms of drinks today, we've got cider. I've never had that cider before actually. And we've also got a whole bunch of different flavors, soju. And we didn't have shot glasses, so we're using egg cups as shot glasses instead. 
The first soju that we're drinking is the plum one. I've never had the plum one before, so I'm excited to try it. It smells very uh, fruity. Hey, we firing this bad boy up. Yeah, let's go to clean up. Oh, this just tastes like sugar water. Everything is set up. It looks very beautiful. So I'm gonna start off with some japchae, which is like the potato noodles. I already know what these taste like and I love it. Okay, we've also got kimchi, the jelly fish cake, uh, some vegetables and the, the, the spicy perilla leaves. I love the fish cake, just the texture of it, just the flavor of it. I don't know what it is about these vegetables, but they just taste so good. It's a bit garlicky. It's got like sesame oil as well. Kimchi as well. I like that this kimchi isn't too spicy. One of my other favorites is the jelly. It's just nice and cool, a little bit slippery. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think I've said it earlier in this video, but I'll put everything in my description, like everything that we've eaten, everything that we've bought. So if you want like what it is that we've bought, you know exactly uh, what the name is and where to get it. If I had to choose one favorite banchan, I can't. These, these are all my favorites. Like they, they all bring something to the table. You know what I mean? Nope. So it's like they're spicy, there's different textures. They're all like needed for this Korean barbecue feast. Okay, the first meat that we're having is the beef. Something about the combination of the samjang and the pepper sesame oil combo just makes it taste so appetizing. And then chase it with some rice. This makes me so happy. Here is a bite with everything. There's rice, there's the perilla leaves, and there is the beef dipped in the sesame oil and also the the sauce. The perilla leaves is a bit peppery and it's got a little bit of a kick to it. And then in combination with that meat in the pepper, sesame oil, it's perfect. Okay, next up we're having these mushrooms that's been grilled in the beef fat. This is what it looks like. It's good. I should dip it into the sesame oil. I feel like that would make it taste even better, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Everyone's been getting like the 30 days. I like it more. <laughs> we are now cooking up some beef harami, which is um like the skirt steak. It smells really, really good. And I, I think I'm gonna, this one, I think I'm gonna eat it with like the lettuce wrap. So have a piece of lettuce and then on top put the perilla leaf and then put your meats, put your rice, put a bit of kimchi on top and then just put the whole thing in your mouth. Wrap it up like a parcel first. This is so delicious. When you add the perilla leaves, when you add the samjang, you add a bit of kimchi. It's the perfect combo of flavors. I don't know what else to say other than this is so good and you should definitely try it if you ever have Korean barbecue. Okay, this is the Wagyu beef that we got. I'm just gonna have it as is and then I'll combine it with the, you know, lettuce perilla package thing. Mm -hmm. That was the first one. I actually prefer the one that I had before more, the harami beef as opposed to the wagyu. Okay, so I'm gonna try my friend's soup. It's like a miso soup with zucchini, tofu, and chili. It's like normal miso soup, but better because there's more flavors and there's more ingredients in it. Next up, we have the cow beef, which is the marinated beef ribs. We're cooking it up right now with the corn and the butter right next to it. So it's gonna melt into the corn. It's gonna be really fragrant. All right, and we are commencing our round two. This is the beef ribs. This is really good, but this would be perfect with rice. Okay, 
I am slowly drifting off into a food coma, so we're gonna change things up a bit. We're gonna play a drinking game. I don't know the name of it, but the but the goal is to flick this part off the cap, and whoever manages to do that, the two people next to them have to drink. <laughs> Let me try again. That doesn't count. Round two continued. We've cooked the pork belly. There's so much fat in the pan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that fat to cook fried rice, but that's a little bit later. What we're gonna focus on right now is this plate of pork belly. It's not all for me. I've just, <clears throat> anyway. The flavor's nice, but it's a bit harder. Did we leave it in for too long? In the restaurant. Yeah, so I think if the meat was thicker, and we left it in for the same amount of time, I think I would like it more. Right now it's just very crunchy around the fat area. But right now we've got kimchi, we've got the pork belly fat in the pan, we've got some rice and we're gonna make some epic fried rice. amazing this is the non-cheese part of the rice the bottom is a little bit crunchy because it's kind of you know crisped up from the bottom <laughs> this is good kimchi fried rice is so good and there's something about grilling kimchi that makes it taste really good as well I like it even without the cheese but you can add cheese if you if you can uh, eat it and you want to. So this is just rice wrapped up in lettuce leaf on the bottom, perilla leaf on top, and then that kimchi fried rice that we had. This is really good. The perilla leaf, it's peppery. Yeah, it's like rocket, isn't it? Mm. Minty, it's like a cross between mint and rocket, I would say. Mm. Cause it's got the peppery, but then it's kind of minty as well. Yeah. Mmm, that's a good way to describe it. We've had a lot of food, but there's more to come. Like this isn't the end of the video. We also have a dessert cocktail drink that I want to show you. And we have, you know, that additional cake that we bought as we took a detour while we were shopping for Korean food. So we are gonna clean up everything that's on this table and then we'll get right on to. Okay, we are now gonna try a dessert drink that I've never tried before, but my friend is telling me about it. So I will try it for the video. So essentially what we need is, we need this, this cider thing, and then we need, it's, it's pretty much a soft drink. And then we need the an original non-flavored soju and a screw bar. This is the strawberry flavor, but you can get you can get any flavors that you want, right? Is there a, oh. <laughs> and then and then a screw bar. This is a strawberry flavor. So you're gonna have to walk me through what I need to do again. Shot of the soju into the glass. 160 milliliters of the cider which isn't actually cider, it's just soft drink. Okay, put this into the drink and then just mix it around. Nothing's happening. Is this a joke? So you can also do this with the melon bar, but they ran out today, so that's why we've got the screw bar, the strawberry flavored one. I. I'm too impatient to let the whole thing melt, so I'm just gonna try and see what this tastes like so far. But this is what it looks like right now. It's not bad, it's quite sweet. It tastes like a, like a strawberry flavored um, soft drink. It's like Fanta, but not orange, but strawberry. 
I wouldn't call this a cocktail. I think it's more so like a little science experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely try this if you want. It's not bad, it's quite like dangerous in the sense that you can't taste the soju at all. But we're gonna finish this and then we'll check back in again when we cut the cake. Okay, we are now in the conclusion of this video. We're having dessert and we've got cake from Savoy in Chatswood. Um, the title of the cake is my name. <laughs> Self-absorbed much? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my idea actually, even though I bought it. <laughs> This is the taro cake with taro cream and sponge cake. It's very creamy. The taro flavor is very prominent. It's squished in between two, three sponge layers. So it's very light. It's not too heavy, which is what I just said. It's very light. So essentially it's creamy. The taro flavor is very strong. It's quite spongy as well and overall it's very light. So even though you are very full from the Korean barbecue, you can still kind of fit this in your stomach. All right, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this massive Korean barbecue feast. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. I put in my description everything that I've ordered and the locations, the places that I went to to buy everything. If you're Sydney based, make sure you sign up to my newsletter. I post new videos every week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And now we are having, oh, there's a street. There's a line of light here. It's okay. Uh, actually, it's quite distracting. Yeah, it's very distracting. Thank <laughs> you.